three local prison guards finding themselves on the other side of the law now. State investigators say video showed those corrections officers beating a prison inmate in Lake County. Three of the guards have been fired and arrested. The video was secretly taken by an inmate and uploaded to YouTube. One local lawmaker says it shows a much bigger problem that faces Florida's jails. Joining us right now is State Representative Anna Escamani. Great to have you, Anna. Thank you for being with us this morning. Of course. So what was your first reaction when you saw the video? Uh, complete shock. Um, the reality is that that type of abuse should not be happening in our state prisons. Um, and it's also a reflection of just systematic problems we have in ensuring that our correctional officers have a good quality of life in their work environments, but also that our incarcerated are not fearful of their life um, as they uh, serve time in our prisons. How did you feel about how it has been handled so far by the corrections department? Well, I think Secretary Inch taking action within 11 days um, was a good sign. Um, that's probably the fastest we've seen a case of uh, inmate abuse being handled. So I'm hopeful that uh, the conversation will continue because the reality is that we've received so many phone calls, emails, messages from other families who have similar concerns. And uh, it's a reflection of a lot of work we need to do to make sure that our prisons are actually safe. And what have you been doing uh, on your own as far as this is concerned since this happened? Yeah, you know, we actually visited um, Lake Correctional Institution last Friday ourselves, uh, meeting with the warden. Uh, we arrived unannounced um, with the intention of uh, seeing the space for ourselves as it is without any preparation for a lawmaker and got to talk to COs. We were able to speak to some inmates um, and we're going to be visiting prisons across the state while also lifting up the importance of criminal justice reform, knowing the fact that Florida has one of the largest numbers of the incarcerated at 96,000, um, but speaking towards our, our budget when it comes to the incarcerated and the fact that we keep losing COs to other jobs. So, Anna, they willingly let you in? There was no issue getting in? As a state lawmaker, um, every state prison has to let me in. Okay. <laughs> and so it's one of the uh, responsibilities that I have as a state lawmaker is to ensure that these prisons are being operated um, to the best ethics and standards possible. Did you feel welcome and did you feel as if they were treating you like, okay, this is serious and, and we want to show you what we're doing? Absolutely. I mean, I think the reality is that when a lawmaker shows up, um, it, it reminds the Department of Corrections, it reminds those who work at that facility that there are people really thoughtful and, cons and concerned of what's happening. And so I hope it also encourages a more positive work environment. But again, we know the salaries for our COs are too low. We lose COs to other jobs all the time. It's a, it's a stressful job. And at the end of the day, uh, we need to make sure that our inmates have programs that support them in reducing recidivism. And Lake County, as an example, um, they've had to close a lot of their ac um, academic programs, all their programs in general, because of lack of resources. So, Anna, we're almost out of time, but is this something you plan to address in the next legislative session? Absolutely. We've been talking to our colleagues uh, for weeks now, um, trying to do our best to prioritize this going to the 2020 session. All right. We always appreciate your time and you coming in this morning and getting up early with us. Thank you, Anna. Good to Thank see you. Thank you. All right.